One of the things that excited me about the project was um, obviously Hamlet, the, the story. I think um, as a theatre company, as a director, one of the, it's one of the great stories we, we want to we work on. Hamlet, the asylum seeker, young African guy coming over, finds his way um, to uh, Brighton somehow. He ends up in Brighton with this incredible story. So he comes from a despotic in country. He has a price in his head. His father has been murdered savagely. His mother has remarried the murderer. Um, and the idea that is this story true or not? Is this young guy called Hamlet from a war-torn African country? You know, is he suffering from uh, mental health issues? And I thought that was a really interesting premise of where you could begin a story. But you know, setting Hamlet in the system of how does he get a home? How does he get leave to remain here? And I found that, was, uh, from a story point of view, it was brilliant, it was fantastic. We hadn't seen or heard that before. So the theatres that we tour to, we would be asking them to identify the group that they would like to work with on Hamlet Asylum Seeker. It could be a group that is an addiction group, a group that has mental health service users in it, a group that are refugees and asylum seekers, whichever community group they would like us to work with. So I'm representing Kindred Minds, um, which is a group that's um, a community-based group for people who've experienced mental distress. When you put together a traditional theatre script with a circus aerial element and then you put professional actors with community actors, smash them all together and see what comes out the end is the sort of thing that I go for a lot, to be honest. <laughs> we got to be, basically, just like, you know, to be or not to be, but we get to be basically, and that's quite important to hold our identity and just to be the way that we are and um, not trying to be anyone different. To be or not to be. The partnership between Tallow Theatre Company and Bambazi at first, I was a bit like, I, I liked the idea of it, but I wasn't quite sure how it would really pan out uh, until we started auditioning. And in the audition process, once we had, you know, people in the silks, actors in the silks, doing, doing, uh, saying the Shakespearean lines, you suddenly go, wow, that looks amazing. It was, an, it was an amazing first presentation. I thought it, it, it'd been worked on a lot longer, actually, but it was just a really amazing way to kind of bring all those issues to the fore and do it in a way that so many people can identify with them. I can't wait for it to come to Brighton. <laughs> <laughs>